Growing concern tonight about what's described as a frustrating workplace atmosphere at the four federal prisons in Florence known as the Federal Correctional Complex. That concern comes from prison employees, the union representing them, and a Colorado congresswoman who's bringing federal officials to task. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live in our newsroom to break down this controversy. Scott. Well, we spoke with two members of the prison employees union tonight. They say frustration started before the pandemic when low pay and forced overtime led to dozens of correctional officers leaving. There were two pay increases last year, which helped hire more officers, but around a fourth of them are still leaving because the situation now affects other staff as well. Low pay, forced overtime, dangerous working conditions, understaffing, and low morale are all concerns expressed by the union representing correctional officers at the federal complex in Florence. For the past year, union leaders have worked with new Colorado Congresswoman Brittany Pedersen to address those issues. Pedersen says that at one point, the complex was short 188 correctional officers and 66 support positions, such as teachers, counselors, case managers, and maintenance workers. In a statement received today, she said, quote, During my visit to the prison earlier this month, I heard directly from officers about the difficult working conditions and the impacts they're having on morale, as well as employee retainment. I've been urging the Bureau of Prisons to make changes, and I'll keep pushing at the federal level until we see solutions. John Butkovich, the union president for the workers, agrees with Pedersen especially where support staff are concerned. They're stressed out because they're being reassigned to a correctional officer post and then still have to do their duties without any additional compensation. So you're having a, a teacher run a cell house who's not normally running a cell house. Are they capable of doing it? Yes. Is it the safest way? No, because they're not familiar with the day-to-day -day operations. So Pedersen is taking action. In January, she wrote a letter asking the Federal Bureau of Prisons and the Office of Personnel Management to rectify the situation. And last week, she wrote another letter to the Bureau of Prisons after touring the complex in Florence and hearing the same concerns from employees. She and the union believe that officials aren't responding quickly enough. And tonight, the union also was concerned that the staffing situation is affecting a program that allows inmates to reduce their sentences by taking classes to become productive in society when they're released. Union leaders say that if the situation doesn't improve soon, they'll consider other measures. Live in the newsroom, Scott Harrison, KRDO, News Channel 13.